lluvia, me gustas tú, me gusta volver, me gusta who is Nikoglai? Everyone probably seen this video by now. A guy fighting for Ukraine. And even in these dark ages, still finding time to cheer up your day with a little dance and a flower behind his ear. Oh, I love him. He's so brave and so handsome. But what if I told you that Nikoglai is not really who he seems to be? Let me get into all the juice. Let me just squeeze a little bit of watch time. And let's dive into his background. Like, what's up? There must be more than just a Megustas 2 guy, right? So our little fella Nikoglai, real name Nikolai Fyodorovich Lebedev, was born in year 2000 the 14th of November Moldova when he was just nine years old he lost his mom due to cancer and then a year later his father died as well and we still don't know actually how because Nico Glide changes the story more often than I change my songs first he says he died of tuberculosis then he died of overdose in the bathroom yeah doesn't look good for you Nico Where's Barbara with big in Stephanie who sucks like a vacuum. Our hero Nikoglai then was living with his brother who forced him to study, while Nikoglai in fact had better plans how to spend his time. Dota 2, he said he used to play it like 12 hours a day. Dude, I swear, CS and Dota 2 fanbase is 95% Eastern Bloc. That's just facts. So while Nikoglai was gaming hard and pursued his dream to be an esports sensation, he got kicked out of school from the 10th grade. His big bro wasn't a really fan of that, so he made him find a job. Nikoglai found the job as a way but being an impatient and pretty vocal man that he is, he was jobless again just in three weeks. The fact that he can't be working in a normal job was pretty obvious to him. And TikTok became his first platform when he started to upload his goofy dances and whatnot. Nikoglais then grows a big audience on TikTok, makes some good money, and decides to move to Moscow. <laughs> Then out of nowhere he started to appear on streams with some clearly slower individual going by name Ivan Zolo 2004. Their streams got a lot of traction and Nikoglai understood that there's plenty room to grow, which TikTok just cannot handle. So next time when they streamed, it was on Twitch. Oh, what, you're live on Twitch? <laughs> Their numbers grew exponentially and they even set a new record of a half of million viewers on the stream. But this is where fame and greed got to him. As I mentioned before, even wasn't really the brightest. And while even saw Nikoglai as a friend, Nico just saw him as a cash cow. Their streams were pretty much about even saying dumb stuff and Nikoglai making fun of them. Well, alright, fine, uh, content I guess. Then it got kinda old and Nico stopped streaming with Ivan. Hang up that computer call, come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantic. After some time, Ivan told the world that the money Nico gave him was like a chicken change. People got mad at him, and how would you even defuse the situation? Yeah, you hire a couple of massive bodyguards and you go to threaten those who say shit about you. Yeah, sure. Then Nico starts streaming Gamba. He scams sites by botting accounts in their casinos, so he gets more revenue from them. Good job, Nico. Well played. But then he does something weird. He records a TikTok, which is a parody to a video of a Russian soldier throwing back grenades that fell down from a drone. The video wasn't made making fun of anyone. People even said that it praised the Russian soldier to his action. But Yekaterina Mezulovna, the head of the safety on the Russian internet, saw it a different way. She said that this little scum is making fun of bravery of a Russian soldier and that he's discrediting his actions. To which Nico just made a funny response where he is in his usual childish clown mood saying some cheeky stuff, almost making fun of her how delusional she is. Which is true but Dude, you don't really fuck with those people, XD, man. Nico then goes to court and gets a fine of 5k rubles, which is like nothing. He even puts up his goofy outfit and just acts like a child. So, some days pass and this video goes viral on the internet. It's basically Nico looking like an egg with shaved eyebrows. Everyone is creeped out like, Jesus, over some dumb TikTok? Some days later, his manager posts a video with Nico saying that he's in Moldova right now. Nico even says that he will release his own video, where he will talk about the whole situation, what happened to him in Russia. He really does release the video, and it's really horrible what happened to him. So, apparently, a police guy knocks on his door and asks him to go out just to ask some questions. 
and promises him that nothing will happen and he will come back to his apartment just in a few minutes. Nico does so, goes outside, but there is a van with like 5 dudes wearing black and they just kidnap him. They go to some place to write down documents I guess. Nico in this time quickly pulls out his phone and sends his location to the manager. One dude sees him and quickly takes his phone away, which I don't understand why the fuck that he didn't do earlier, like <laughs> that makes no sense. His manager slash lawyer comes in like 10 minutes, but they push him back and don't even let him see Nikolai. Then they drive off and this is where shit hits the fan. Nico is tortured, they shave him, make fun of him, make him sit on a Coca-Cola bottle, beat him, they don't punch him to face though so he doesn't have like visible marks on the camera, they kick him and push him around and even put him in a cell with some real killers as he said. That was pretty much it and then he promotes his stream. Everyone in the comments was pretty supportive and apparently all shit he has done in the past like vanished I guess? Nobody seemed to care what he used to do in his scammy scummy era so he had like a new start. And guess what he did as a first thing on a stream? Think he was doing some good content to start a new career as a good person and a streamer? No, he promoted drugs. Jesus, this guy, <laughs> I can't, what the fuck? Don't get me wrong, shit that happened to him, like, that's mental. You, you get thrown out of the country because of the TikTok that wasn't even bad in any way. But dude, drugs promotion right after that? So here's the thing you have to understand about Nico. He doesn't care what people will say about him. He just cares about the hype. He's certified hood classic clown who does like whatever just to keep himself relevant well guess what he runs for a prime minister of moldova why because moldova is very corrupted and he wants to make corruption to go away wow. dude that comes from a guy who bothered views on his stream. Almost didn't pay the guy whom he made millions with the most scammy scummy rat i have ever seen oh shit Right. Jesus, Nico isn't really as pro-Russian as he used to be. So now he's very, very, very pro-Ukraine. That's why he promised to buy 100k dollars worth of drones from Ukraine military. Guess what? He only delivered like 10k worth, which is still cool. But even after that happened, he was still promoting himself as a hero and was waving that 100k dollar mark around everyone's face. Crazy. He then got invited to a political stream by another streamer, Kasha. And guess what? He made an absolute baboon out of himself. And it felt like he was getting roasted for the whole time. He knows nothing about the history of Ukraine and Russia. And then when he's confronted with whatever questions on the topic, he just wabbles. For example, Kasha says, Man, there is no winner in a war. Everyone loses. Nico says, Soon winners will come to Krim on the tank and I'll be with them. Kasha says, Instead of both sides trolling and fighting each other, they need to sit down and talk things out. Nico says, I will go to war and you will sit there in the mama basement. I'll drink a little Coca-Cola for Nico's health here. And then Nico says he will go fight in front lines. <laughs> Alright, basically Nico said a whole bunch of nothing and whenever he realized that or had nothing to say he just pushed the feelings on his younger fan base that he was in prison and then he's so hurt easily and that he has a lot of psycho problems basically brainwashing his audience while Kasha was trying to unbrainwash them. When a month later Nico appeared on TikTok dancing with a flower behind his ear everyone who was in the stream knew that the guy went there just to shoot some TikToks. Oh yeah man, you showed him Russians good. Damn, good job. Russians can't stand Magusta's two song. When I opened the comments, I was welcomed with a lot of Ukrainian flag and a lot of support. I don't know how much support a guy who is brainwashing and scamming his audience needs, of course, but yeah, sure. I just wanna make sure that everyone knows that this guy went there just to take some pictures. That's it, nothing more. To wrap this video up, I just wanna say that no one deserves what happened to Nikoglai, but that doesn't make him a good person. He's still a piece of garbage. This video took me a long time to produce. YouTube still doesn't wanna monetize me. So if you can and want to, you can support me on Patreon. Thank you, love you, bye bye.